I filmed a video where I set out to prove to you that you can start a business using only AI within 48 hours. That video did not just prove it was possible. It helped me launch a real business hitting five figure months. All the way from generating a killer business idea to marketing it and even legalizing it. Now, I'm gonna put AI to the biggest test yet. Can it run my business? In this video, we're gonna see if AI can do all the things I do not want to do. Can it manage my emails, attract leads, make sales, create content, write copy, run my operations, manage my finances, and do my bookkeeping? And if it can, how can I integrate it all together so it runs like a machine? Let's do it. Let's face it, I have a cap on how much work I can do in a day. So after doing some research, it looks like AI agents and AI virtual assistants can perform tasks like negotiating through email, scraping the internet for leads, predicting customer needs before being asked, and extracting and summarizing trends, and so much more. Sign me up. Activate the droids. I have to address this because I got like a hundred comments on my last video asking if I am AI. I am real, okay? Could AI do this or this? I don't think it can. So there's your proof. <laughs> so my next question is how can we actually make one of these AI assistants? Let's ask ChatGPT. So it seems like it is possible to make a custom AI virtual assistant on OpenAI, but we do not have time for that. We need something fast that we can build right now. So it seems like AI is recommending starting with Lindy AI or Flowwise. So let's sign up to Lindy. On Lindy AI, you can customize a team of pre-built no-code AI assistants, basically an army of AI agents doing work for you. With my social media marketing agency, I often need to find a large amount of leads. So let's see what Lindy can do for me. Okay, this is sick. I can literally customize an AI assistant workflow to scrape the internet for niche specific leads. And I can even get an AI agent to negotiate through emails for me. This is insanity. It's crazy. We're living in the future. There's also a platform called Reggie AI, and it builds AI agents that do prospecting for you and work alongside your current sales team. I'm very excited to try it, so I need to book a demo a few days from now to check it out. So this whole AI agent thing got me thinking, could I actually monetize one of these AI agents and sell it as a tool or service for my clients? Let's ask ChatGPT and find out. So according to AI, if I want to put an AI assistant on the market as a subscription service, I either need to build it myself or confirm that the platform I made it with gives me permission to use their pre-built AI for commercial use. So let's send Lindy an email and ask them if I can sell it. A big part of running a business is creating content and building a presence online. Ideally, I could get AI to do this for me so I don't have to do it myself. So let's ask ChatGPT what AI tools it would recommend for this. Okay, so it seems like I can use Jasper AI for writing blogs, social content, and ad copy. I can use Synthesia and Video Leap for video generation. And I can use Photo Leap and Comfy UI for photo generation. I can use Lately for social media scheduling and repurposing content. And lastly, I can use Shopify Magic as a perfect way for creating emails with Shopify Inbox. It seems like content creation is covered. On to solving the next problem. Side note, look at these sick images that I created with PhotoLeap. Okay, my next question was how can I use AI to streamline my business operations? I want AI to automate my business and free up my time so I'm not spending 80 hours a week on this business. So first I need help scheduling my appointments and it seems like Calendly is the perfect option for this. Next, I want an AI note taker for my Zoom meetings. And Otter AI is perfect because it summarizes your meeting notes and you can even chat with an AI bot and ask it questions about your meeting. And there's an app on your phone too, which is really nice. Now I also need help managing my clients and my emails. So I found an app called Pipedrive. It's a CRM system that utilizes AI. Next, the platform called Superhuman seems perfect for organizing and prioritizing my email inbox. 
Another thing that takes me forever is cold outreach emails. So let's see if AI can run this for me because then AI is gonna get rejected and not me, which I like. So let's go ask ChatGPT for some tools. Okay, so according to ChatGPT, Instantly is a perfect option for doing cold outreach. And between my AI agent scraping leads and Instantly AI sending out automatic emails and follow-ups, it should be a perfect lead generation machine. Now, I want all of this to come together. I still need AI to help me run my business operations as a whole, like helping me manage my contractors, my customer experience, and connecting all of my AI tools together. So, ChatGPT, tell me how I can do this, please. Okay, so AI is recommending Zapier, which I already use and absolutely love. And I'm actually gonna share some cool integrations with Zapier workflows later in the video for you. But Chad is also recommending this program called Make AI that can run your operations and integrate your apps all into one place. This is starting to feel like a full force team of AI agents. Now, when it comes to building an online presence, Shopify is the perfect website for streamlining business operations because you can download apps to your storefront and find all your data and analytics across different platforms right on your dashboard. So for all of you out there that are still choosing the website building platform you wanna use, I would recommend Shopify. I've actually tried a lot of the others and Shopify has the best integrations and streamlined interface for you to run your business from A to Z. And I've actually linked a free Shopify trial down below for you to check out. Now, a much dreaded part of my business is managing the books and knowing how to properly oversee my financial strategy. I am certain that AI can help me with this, so let's go on a little hunt to find some of the best platforms. Come on, ChatGPT. Okay, so there are all-in-one AI solutions for managing expenses, budgeting, and running financial forecasts. They are called QuickBooks and Zoho Books. Use them and thank me later. Okay, but what about bookkeeping? This can be super expensive to hire out and a ton of work to do myself. So I found a platform called Zenny AI. It is an AI bookkeeping platform with a dedicated support team and receipt management. This is probably the most exciting find for me because bookkeeping is very expensive and so much work. So the platform is a bit pricey, but it is absolutely worth it once you reach a certain revenue mark. Now, speaking of making a lot of money, using AI can be a little bit risky or just having an online business in general. So my next question, how can I protect my company from fraud or scams using AI? Let's go find some good fraud protection programs. Okay, first there's a platform called Signified, which seems like a great beginner-friendly option because it requires a lot less work on my end, which is nice. I also found a platform called Sion. This one offers more flexibility and customization, but it does require a bit more upfront setup. Here is a comparison of both of the platforms from ChatGPT. And based on this, I'm probably gonna go with Signified. What's actually really cool is that it looks like both of these integrate into the Shopify dashboard through the Shopify app store, which is super easy and simple. Now we already found a lot of AI tools for the business and I'm a little bit worried it may start to feel messy and overwhelming. So I wanna see how I can integrate AI into my already existing workflows and processes, like a seamless symphony of instruments working together. <laughs> Now there's an app called Zapier, the one that I mentioned earlier, and it is literally the king of integrations. It's there to integrate all your tools together, whether they are AI or not. So here's a few integrations that I found that I can do through Zapier with the tools I have. Integrating Calendly into Pipedrive with Zapier to automatically add contacts to my CRM when meetings are booked. I can connect Otter to Pipedrive to automatically add meeting notes to my client profiles. I can also get Zapier to auto-schedule Synthesia videos and Jasper content to socials using Lately. This one's really nice because I don't like taking time to schedule out my content. I can also integrate QuickBooks into my Shopify store so it can automatically track expenses and revenue. And guys, there are almost endless possibilities here when it comes to integrations. Zapier will even create new zaps for you if you can't find what you're looking for on their discovery page. So just type in what you want and see how it can build it for you. Here is my current workflow. Lindy AI scrapes the internet for leads. Instantly AI sends out emails and follow-ups. Then Superhuman organizes and prioritizes responses in my inbox. Then Lindy negotiates with potential clients through email. 
Calendly books a client call and Pipedrive tracks it. Otter AI then takes meeting notes and a summary is sent to Pipedrive and the notes are attached to the lead. Jasper AI, Photoleap, and Synthesia create content and then lately repurposes it and schedules it to social media. Make.com and Shopify automate business operations and data sharing. QuickBooks tracks my finances and Signified protects the business against fraud. There are a ton of upsides to integrating AI-driven workflows. However, this does mean that I'm gonna be heavily reliant on technology, which can have its downsides. So I'm gonna make sure to keep an eye on how everything is running because it may need a human touch. Companies all over the world are using AI workflows to solve their biggest business problems. Here are some pretty cool examples. AT&T integrated H2O.AI, streamlining their operations and helping them save a solid $17 million a year. Prime Therapeutics used SaaS AI to crack down on prescription fraud, recovering $355 million in just 18 months. AI made their investigations faster and a lot more accurate. And of course, Netflix's AI algorithm knows us better than we know ourselves, constantly serving up the perfect shows to keep us binge watching. Now, there is an AI agent integration that I have been waiting a long time for, and it's finally here. Shopify has officially released Sidekick in North America. It helps with managing products, analytics, and resources. It will even do some of the nitty gritty tasks on my online store for me. We have a whole video on Shopify magic, Shopify Sidekick, and how to use them right here. Excuse me, Freedom's calling, and I think I should answer. Mm-hmm, yep, the robots are working. Yeah, I don't even think I have to work anymore. It's all set up. The evil plan is working. Anyways, now AI is exciting, but ignoring this one thing could cost you a lot of money. Data privacy laws. Just ask OpenAI, who got fined 15 million euros in 2024 for breaking them. Depending on where you live, different rules apply. For example, in the EU, under the GDPR, you can't just collect data however you want. People have to give clear consent. And in California, under the CCPA, businesses now have to disclose when AI is making decisions for people, such as approving loans, screening job applications, or deciding on medical treatments. Users have the right to opt out of AI decisions or demand a human review. If you're using AI in your business, be transparent, audit your AI to avoid improper biases, and most importantly, own up to your mistakes. Maintaining your trust will keep you in good standing with your clients and the law. I know the law! Now, AI is moving a million miles a minute, so here are some trends to stay on top of. First is AI agents as a service. We've talked about this a bit in the video, but companies are replacing the traditional software tools that require human interaction with autonomous AI agents that can independently perform tasks, manage workflows, or even run entire operations. It is going to be a game changer in the SaaS world. Next is Edge AI. This tech processes data directly on devices like phones and wearables instead of off the cloud. It means faster speeds and offline functionality. We could be seeing a lot more wearable AI devices soon. Next is AI in the metaverse. People are making virtual experiences feel insanely real, from digital shopping assistants to AI-powered events. Feels like we're kind of living in the movie Ready Player One. It's the only place that feels like I mean anything. Also, Threads is a great place for AI news. Just search AI trends and the algorithm will start to keep you updated. Staying ahead of this will help us adapt to where the market is going. As amazing as AI is, there is still a lot of room for the human imagination, insight, and creativity. By setting up AI workflows, you can focus on what you want to do rather than wasting all your time on repetitive tasks. And after doing part one and two of this series, I can absolutely say that you can start and run a business using only AI. And yes, you can continue to scale this way. However, when you're ready to scale, hiring a human team is gonna give you critical thinking and a personal touch that customers can truly connect to on a deeper level. Thank you guys so much for watching and please leave a comment and hit the like button if you found this helpful. And go get out there and start building. It's good to experiment with AI tools until you find exactly what you need to build your business from A to Z using AI. The best thing is that you now know it's possible. Do you guys still have some questions or concerns about starting a business using only AI? Let us know in the comments below and who knows, maybe we'll make a part three. I'm Charisma Shalu Akina with Learn with Shopify and we upload weekly videos on all things business, so make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Bye guys.